Okay, in this related rate problem, we have two cars, and this one here is going to travel north at 60 kilometers an hour, and this one is going to travel west at 50 kilometers an hour, and we have to determine how fast the distance between them is changing three hours later. Okay, let's start by getting a visual. So let's take this car here, and it's going to travel north for three hours at 60 kilometers an hour. It'll end up somewhere there. And this car here is going to travel west for three hours at 50 kilometers an hour. So it ends up somewhere around there. Now we can draw, this is their starting point here, we can draw a diagram. So we can say that that's the distance the north car traveled, this is the distance the west car traveled, and the distance between them is given by this line I'm drawing in here. And we also know that because it's going north and west, that this would be a right angle at the starting point. Let's call the distance traveled in the north direction. We call that y. And the distance traveled in a westerly direction, we'll call that x. And therefore, the distance between them, we'll call that r. And that would be the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. All right, let's go to the question and pull out any information that they give us. So we see that the car traveling in a northerly direction is traveling at 60 kilometers per hour. Now, kilometers is a measure of distance, and hours is a measure of time. Therefore, what they're saying is that the change in y with respect to time is 60 kilometers per hour. And they tell us that the car traveling west travels at 50 kilometers per hour. Well, what that means is that the change in x, distance x, with respect to time is equal to 50 kilometers per hour. Now, they want us to find how fast the distance between the cars is changing. That means this r distance here. So what they're asking us for is to find the rate of change of distance r with respect to time. So that's what we're looking for. That's our question mark. And they want it at the instant three hours after both cars leave the parking lot. So this means when t is equal to 3. And the unit would be hours. To solve the problem, we need to find a way to relate all of these rates. Well, we can do so by using Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem states that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now these values here represent the rate of change of x, y, and r with respect to time. You can imagine as, as these um, the cars are traveling, all three of these distances are changing over time. There's no constant between them. So to get the rate of change, we derive this uh, equation, and we have to do it implicitly. So we would get 2x times dx dt, we're differentiating with respect to time, plus 2y times dy dt equals 2r times dr dt. Now we notice that every term has a 2 in it, so we can take out the 2 by dividing all the terms by 2. And that would leave us with x times dx dt plus y times dy dt equals r times dr dt. So we have an equation, and we want to find dr dt, which is right here, after t hours. So if we can isolate dr dt uh, and solve the equation, uh, we'll get the answer. So we need to find an x value, a dx dt value, a y value, a dy dt value, an r value, and then look for or isolate dr dt. Okay, so how do I find x? Well, remember, we're looking for the instant three hours later. So if the car travels in the westerly direction at 50 kilometers an hour, after three hours, it's going to travel 150 kilometers. Let's show that here. We've got 50 kilometers an hour times 3 hours 
equals 150 kilometers. Remember the hours here would cancel out. And similarly, y after 3 hours would travel 60 times 3 or 180 kilometers. And I've just written it here. So now we have values for x, 150, a value for dx dt, which is 50, a value for y, 180, and a value for dy dt, which is 60. Let's plug those in. So here we go, we plug them in. But what about r here? We're going to isolate dr dt, but I need to find a value for r. Well, we can look at Pythagorean theorem. We can use that, given our x to be 150 or y to be 180, and solve for r. So this would mean that 150 squared plus 180 squared equals r squared. Using the calculator, this would give us 22,500 plus 32,400 equals r squared. Adding those together, we get 54,900. And it would be r squared. In other words, take the square root of that, and that'll give us r, which is approximately 234.3 kilometers. So after three hours, this distance is 150 kilometers, this is 180 kilometers, and this distance is 234.3 kilometers. Okay, so we can put that in for R here. This would be 234.3 and then times dr dt, or the rate of change of R with respect to time. Now we've just got the one variable to solve for, one rate, so we can just go ahead and solve this for dr dt. So this would give us 7,500 plus 10,800 equals 234.3 times dr dt. And we add those two together and we get 18,200 divided by 234.3 is equal to our rate of change of r with respect to time. And that works out to be about 75.2 kilometers per hour is our change in R with respect to time. So what this means is that the distance between the cars is changing at the rate of 75.2 kilometers per hour three hours after they both leave the parking lot. And the answer is positive because the distance is increasing over time. And there you go.